European distribution from Holden. Broadcast and AV workflow solution. So, um, now we've got 7.2, what's the difference between 7.2 and 6.5? Okay, so the major differences are that the fact that, well most of it's under the hood really, it's all about architecture. So EDIUS 7 now supports a 64-bit architecture, so it allows you to have access to more of your RAM and more of your CPU cores. So rendering and things like that are already increased when they're already super fast in EDIUS 6.5. But one of the bigger things for me is the workflow is now complete. So 4K and RAW are things that are coming and they're coming very fast. But the biggest thing for me is um, the workflow from Red RAW, because I shoot with Red, means that I can use Red Cinex and um, EDIUS 7 in sync with each other. So any effect that or any change that I make in RAW 16-bit with RED, it instantly updates into RED's, uh, into EDIUS 7's timeline. So there's no importing or exporting or saving RMDs, it just happens instantaneously. So I sort of treat that as my base node when I'm doing color correction. I'll process my RAW footage in RED Cine, and that gets up updated straight away in um, EDIUS 7. Some other features are the fact that now it supports 4K hardware, so especially when I'm doing critical color correction, or I want to monitor in 4K, instead of using my GPU, I can use things like like a Decklink Extreme from Blackmagic or um, AJA and I think Matrox is going to be supported soon. So the fact that EDIUS are now allowing third-party hardware to make, um, you know, they're, they're opening up and the, the scope of EDIUS to more users, which I think is really, really cool. Now, for, for people that don't know, what, what versions of Windows does this work with? Uh, it works with all versions of Windows, so Windows 8, Windows 7, but 64-bit requires you to have the 64-bit operating system to get the benefits of that 64-bit. But a couple of other features are the filters. There's a new 10-bit Gaussian blur filter. But the fact that EDIUS 7 now also supports 10-bit um, projects, the difference between 8-bit and 10-bit is also quite huge as well. But other things too, it supports all new camera formats. So the Sony F55, 1DC, all these 4K formats. Um, Grass Valley are really leading in terms of formats and resolutions because they support all cameras. And that's, that's great because that was the whole thing that got me over to EDIUS in the first place is that I could just drop any camera clip in there and it would work. So yeah. yeah so that's the thing that comes back from anybody that uses it is yeah. they can throw anything at it and it works. Yeah. Well, um, I also have another claim with EDIUS, and um, people look at me in disbelief, but um, after the demo, they, they shake in my hand, is anything I can do in DaVinci Resolve, I can do in EDIUS. So it just requires you to delve a little bit deeper and have a fundamental understanding of color correction. But one of the biggest and most powerful things about the color correction in EDIUS is the mask tool. It's not just a garbage map, so it's a full, true, uh, multi-point Bezier curve mask tool that allows you to put unlimited filters on the inside and outside of the mask and animate it as well. So that's something that just uh, blows the competition out of the water. And um, yeah, I'm really excited about the future of EDIUS now that it is 64-bit, because I get to talk to people like Alex and the engineers and say, we need motion tracking. You know, we need a better motion stabilizer. We need noise reduction. And um, with 64-bit, these things become, because um, I think with the problem with EDIUS in the past was they were so focused on always being real time that they would maybe not include features because they couldn't get them to happen in real time. But now with 64-bit, they've got a lot more horsepower. So things like that, they're saying, yeah, we can do that now. So yeah, that's really exciting for me. European distribution from Holden. Broadcast and AV workflow solution.